Hello all, a quick one before we start the video. As you may have seen by now, I have already played Niv Mizzet Reborn on the EDH Lounge, and whilst the deck is very similar, there are some subtle differences in card choices between the multiplayer and the one versus one version. But the main reason I wanted to talk to you all for a minute is because this deck is actually inspired by a list that a player online gave me. Jab Holic was kind enough to give me his list on my request when I played against it on Magic Online, and went to great efforts to give it to me as he doesn't normally upload decks online. I've made some changes to his list, but the starting point was definitely all Jabholic's doing, so I just wanted to let you all know, as transparency is important to me, as I hope you all know already. There'll be a deck list to the original deck, and then to my modified version of the deck in the description, and a big thank you to Jabholic for giving me his deck list. Hope you enjoy it. Niv Mizzet Reborn versus Lazav, Demir Mastermind. We have quite a few lands there, so I think we are. Yeah, we're going to have to keep that. In for a Godless Shrine intact on turn two. We don't want to shock in any more lands than we need to. Niv-Mizzet Reborn is a 5-mana Wuber Commander, 6-6 six, six Flyer. Whenever it enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library, and for each colour pair, choose one that is exactly those colours from among them. And put the chosen cards into your hand, the rest can go on the bottom. And plenty of mana for our opponent, but only one source of coloured mana. When they get into Altar of the Brood, so no doubt they have an Altar of the Brood combo in the deck. Pernicious Deed would be excellent if we can get into some green mana. Let's just play that out and pass the turn. Lazav Demir Mastermind, they are hopefully nowhere near. That is a 4 mana Demir Commander, a 3 3 with Hexproof. When a creature is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you may have Lazav Demir Mastermind become a copy of that card, except its name is Lazav Demir Mastermind. It's legendary. And it has Hexproof as well as this ability. They have milled a Steam Vents from us. Luckily it's not a green land. A Fraying Sanity. At the beginning of each end step, the Enchanted Player puts X cards from their library into their graveyard, where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn, so it doubles up mill effects, basically. We still can't do anything due to lack of green mana. And a Mind Crank, that's another Mill Combo card. Really eager to get this Pernicious Deed down. Okay, still haven't seen a green land go into the graveyard. There is a, another land that we can... Yeah, we still can't do anything. At least if we get into a green card, we're on to Wooburg. A Mind Funeral gets rid of a lot of stuff, including a Forest and a tiger, and a breeding pool, so gets rid of quite a few of our green lands there. Hopefully we can get into a fetch pretty quickly though. If we get into a forest then we can go for Pernicious Deed and crack it immediately. Okay, Delvin's Veto gives us something to do at least. Okay, Traumatize we are not going to go for. That will mill half of our library. We only have 52 cards in the deck. Any fetch will do. Okay, that will hopefully get us into a bayou or a tropical island. I can't remember what's been milled now. We've got double blue, so I think we will go for... Yeah, the bayou's gone, so we'll go for overgrown tomb. And then it is pernicious deed. And we could crack that now if we wanted to, but I think I'd quite like to get rid of the Fraying Sanity as well. So let's just see what our opponent does before we decide to crack the Pernicious Deed. Only 42 cards left in the library now. Okay, there's a Hedron Crab for some more mill. We can kill that with the Pernicious Deed as well. I'm not as worried about the mill because Emergency Powers has us shuffle our hand and graveyard into our library and then draw seven. 
So hopefully we can get into that pretty quickly. Hedron Crab has landfall and it will mill us for three. Every time a land comes into play, they finally get a black land. Now, I think just for tempo reasons, I'm actually going to go for the Pernicious Deed now. And that will destroy each artifact, creature and enchantment with CMC X or less. Which is everything on the board apart from Fraying Sanity. Unless they can counter an activated ability. No, nope, they're just going for a bit more mill from Nefalia Drownyard. They have two cards in hand, and only three lands on the board now. We are down to 25 cards in the library. Okay, Solar Blaze. How about an Assemble the Legion then, maybe? I think we have a little bit of time to get this going now. And then maybe the turn after we'll go for our Commander. We need a couple more mana to get Emergency Powers going. Okay, there's an Ashiok. That is more mill. Exile the top three cards of an opponent's library, and then for minus X, you can steal a creature with CMC of X. We don't have any creatures in the deck, or we have hardly any creatures in the deck. They got rid of a land, a wear and tear, and a counter squall. We get a muster counter and a soldier token into play, and then we've got a land which is really good. I think I'd actually rather get Rhythm of the Wild down because I'm not too sure about getting a lot of cards out of the library with Niv Mizzet and it won't give us any lands anyway. So I think I'd just rather wait it out and force our opponent to attempt to mill us. Let's go after Ashiok here. One more land and we can shuffle everything back into our library so we just have to hope that they don't get into a Bajuka Bog or something like that. Exiling three cards again. That is Dreadbore, another land. Uh, they exiled three cards. Oh, they got a Deathrite Shaman under the Ashiok. I was wondering where the other card went. So apparently we do have at least a couple of creatures in the deck. Now let's just keep our fingers crossed for a land here. Alright, that's really good. So in that case... Does our opponent have counter magic is the question. I think I'm just going to wait for emergency powers on my opponent's turn. The good thing about that card is that it is an instant. If we cast it on our turn, then we can play a permanent with 7 CMC cost or less. For free, but we don't have one of those. So I'm just going to hold it up on our opponent's turn, and then if they do have counter magic, at least they have to counter on their turn. Oh, but if they tap out, then that is fine with me. Let's wait for Nefalia Drownyard and the Fraying Sanity to, to resolve, and then... Oh, we don't have a stop on our end step, that's annoying. Uh, I thought we had a stop on our end step, so... It just flicked straight through to their turn. I was going to go for the emergency powers there while they were tapped out. But if they tap their blue mana here, then that's really good. We are going to give our opponent a nice new hand of cards. But I think it's well worth it because otherwise we're just going to die to mill anyway. We've got seven in the library left. And it's time to see if they have counter magic or not. Luckily, we have a land still in the library. That is really lucky. I totally forgot that that fetch land was in play. Emergency powers at instant speed will shuffle everything back into the library and we'll each draw seven cards. All right. So we've got Kratic Lantern, Reborn Hope is of no use to us. We've got Pernicious Deed back as well. Pernicious Deed, noteworthy. It doesn't get rid of Planeswalkers because it is from a time before Planeswalkers were, an, were in existence. Just get down the Volcanic Island. And I'm going to swing everything in at Ashiok. And this should get rid of the Planeswalker. I wouldn't have thought they'd block. No, they are going to block. 
Not really much point in blocking there, they lost a creature for nothing because Ashiok was going down no matter what. We'll just get down Narset. And this is some card advantage for us. Look at the top card of our library. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, we may reveal it and put it into our hand. It is. And we'll hold up Absorb and throw it back over to our opponent. Not too worried about Mill now, although they do have seven cards in hand, so there's nothing to say that they won't get it going. Yeah, and our opponent didn't get into anything clearly, so they're just going to quit there. Uh, we would have gotten... We would have gotten four more tokens with Assemble the Legion, taking us up to nine. So that's obviously nine damage, and then maybe uh, Niv Mizzet Reborn as well would have been 15 damage. And then if they weren't going to do anything the turn after, that would have been lethal. So they perhaps should have played it out. We were going to draw a Hull Breach. And then Narset would have given us Assassin's Trophy, yeah. This is a, a control build of Niv Mizzet Reborn. And we've got lots of spot removal and counter spells and all that type of thing. And we just want to try... Didn't manage it in the early game, but we just want to try and get our Wooberg as soon as possible. And then hit a land every turn. And then by the time we've done emptying our hand, it's time to get down Nib Mizzet Reborn, hopefully. And refill our hand. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. Lazar of Demir Mastermind. Nearly milled us out. We got down to seven cards there, but luckily we managed to shuffle everything back in with, I think, the only card in the deck that actually does that. And we were playing Nib Mizzet Reborn. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.